Hey everybody, what's going on? It is Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to play through a few rounds of After Us. If you want to see a full review of the game, you can click the link in the video description. Otherwise, you can stick around here, and we will get playing. Alright, so setup is pretty easy. You're going to give each player a player board. Four of these discs here that are going to have the different eight types on the back. Put a, a scoring marker on, on zero rage and zero points. You give each player a deck of their cards that has their color. And you can give each player a turn order and it has some symbology on the back reference card. Then you're going to pick three of these. There's a, I think six or something. Pick three and flip them. And then you're going to set up the decks. So each of the decks have two parts. There's a blue deck, an orange deck, a black deck, and like a brown deck. They're tamarins i'm not sure what the types they are but um they're these decks so they have the proper color on the back there's a level two and a level one you're going to sort them out level two's here level one's here and you're going to shuffle each of the deck and put them face down okay then you're ready to play all right so the way this game works is it's going to be three phases it's going to be assembling the tribe attracting new apes and then resting okay so i'm going to play as this one first and then we'll go over to that one and i'm going to show you how it works you're going to draw four cards let me make sure I shuffled these. Okay, I'm going to draw four cards. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in a line. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to complete boxes like this. See how that box is now complete to get resources. Okay, and I'm trying to decide which resources that I want. I think I'm going to go this way because this one doesn't have a box. So I'll just go this way, the way that I put it out. Then I'm going to collect. So anything that's in a completed box, you collect or you may do. All right, so I'm going to get a battery. I'm going to get two, I think it's grains. Another battery. Uh, orange and a blue, I'm not sure what those are. Fruit and flowers, I think. Uh, another fruit and flower. All right, so that's everything in the top row. You go left to right, top to bottom. Then I may cash in a an orange for a point, which I don't think I'm gonna do that yet. Then I may do a black and a battery for a point, which I'm not gonna do yet. A battery for a point, I will do that, I think. So I'll cash in a battery for a point. And the starting cards never have anything on the bottom that will match up, okay? So that is phase one of my turn. Now they're gonna do the same thing. And however they come out is just how I'm going to put them together for this player. Just because I want to keep it going. Okay, so there they go. So they're going to get two blue. And all this stuff happens at the same time. I didn't say that, but all this is simultaneous. And then they're going to get a blue and an orange. A black and a blue. And an orange. Okay. Uh, they get a point. They could trade trade in a blue and an orange for a point. They don't want to do that. They don't have any batteries. All right, so they're done. All right, so that's their turn. Now we're going on to phase two. Phase two, we're going to attract the apes. That's where these discs come into play. These discs are going to determine which um, deck we want to buy from. Okay? So... They're also going to provide a bonus. I'm not going to buy from a deck right now, but I want to play this one. So these will go face down. They're going to do whatever this one. Uh, no, they have something. They want to be able to do it as well. Okay, so then we both reveal at the same time. And we have picked the same ape. So each of us get two points. You get the bonus. It's on it. So we each get two points. Now we're able to buy from the deck of that ape. For three blue flowers, you can take a level one. For six blue flowers, you can take a level two. This player has three blue flowers. So they will take a level one. And when you take a level one, it immediately goes on the top of your deck. Okay? Let's put the decks up here so we can see them. I can't buy anything. I don't have three. I could use this to make some trades, but I'm not going to do that because it's expensive. So, done. Now, next thing you can do during phase two is... You can spend two of the exact same resources to use the other person's ape token. And I'm not going to do that. I need to save my resources for some stuff. 
so I'm done. They're not gonna do it either, so that's that. So you take your tokens, you flip them face down, then we're gonna go to phase three, which is resting, which is discard cards. So these cards are now discarded, and we're ready to go. Now we're going to do it again. So four more cards. For me, I wanna to try to get, I'm gonna go for orange goods this time. So let's go this way. Yeah, all right. So I'll get a blue and an orange. Black and an orange. Two blues. And an orange. All right. Then I go down to the next row. I can trade two blues for a point, which I don't want to do. But I get a free point, which is nice. Uh, blue and an orange for a point. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. All right, so I'm done. Then they will do theirs. The new cards you buy always come out immediately the next turn. So that that is pretty nice. And I will do this. All right, so this is the order they're going. So they get two blues, a battery and an orange, two blacks, a battery. Then they're going to the second row. They can spend three different resources for a point. They don't want to do that. They'll spend the blue for a point, though. They will do that. Two black for a point? Nope. One orange for a point? Nope. Uh, and nothing in the bottom row. Okay. So, um, that's their turn. Now, I didn't explain what the point of the game is. We're trying to be the first player to get to 80. You can do that. You win the game. Okay, so that's why points are important. All right, so we're done there. Now we're moving on to phase two. And I'm actually going to be able to attract this time. And I'm going to attract an orange. So that'll go face down. And they have, they can do, they're going to do a black. A gorilla. All right, so then we both reveal. So I did orange. They did black. All right, so they get two rage. Rage lets you thin your cards out. Once you get to four rage, you can spend it. And you can remove a card from the game, collecting the bonus up in the top right. I get two batteries. And then I am going to buy an orangutan. Level one, because I don't have five. But that's fine. All right, so there's my card. And uh, they are going to buy a level one gorilla. Done. Okay. Then we can use the other players. And I will. I want to get some uh, rage. So I will use that to take their rage. They don't want to use mine, so they're good. And now we're going on to level three. We're resting. So these get discarded. You draw four new ones. Again, if you can't draw, you will shuffle. Because this is what's known as a deck building game. You're going to be acquiring new cards, put them into your deck, eventually be able to get to use them. So this player will discard as well. They have two cards. And they'll shuffle. All right, there we go. So we'll sort those out in a second. So let's do mine. Orangutan. Ooh, I definitely want to put that there. We'll go there. And what a waste. Let's go do it like this. Yeah, there we go. All right, so there we go. There's mine. Uh, we'll do theirs. Put that in the middle. Done. Done. Again, there's going to be thinking here. Trying to get the most opportune set up, but I'm just showing you how it works. All right, so I'm going to get an orange and a black. Uh, a battery. This is probably not the greatest setup, but that's fine. Two blacks. A battery. Ooh, I have five batteries. That's exciting. And I'll explain that in a little bit. 
Uh, then I get to pay nothing to get a point, which is all right. One orange for a point, which I will do. Um, nothing on the bottom. Okay. And then they'll get all their stuff. I'm not going to do their stuff because it's going to be the last round that I play. But I, So I'm just going to show you this. All right. Now, one thing else I'm going to do, I'm going to activate one of these. I have five batteries. I'm going to spend them. You can activate each of these once during the phase that it says. So this is phase one, phase two, phase three, phase one, phase two, phase one. This lets you draw an extra card, trade some goods, but I want the five points. So I'm taking five points. Again, it's a race to points. Okay, so I got all my goods. Now I'm gonna pick my ape that I wanna attract. I have three, I have six black, so we're gonna go with the gorilla. So that'll give me two rage. Then I'm going to spend six to acquire a level two gorilla. Again, the other player's doing this as well, but I'm not showing them right now. I spent six seeds or grains, whatever. Get a level two. So level twos are better. And they're gonna go right into my deck. And then I can spend two to use their thing, but I'm gonna spend four rage and I'm gonna remove a card. And I'm gonna remove this one from the game because it doesn't give me anything by itself and it's going to give me an orange so that's out and i get an orange good all right so now i have less cards in my deck less junky cards and more opportunity to get good cards all right so that is the game and that's how you're going to keep playing until somebody gets to 80 points and they are the winner so yeah that is after us again if you want to check out our review click the link in the video description otherwise Thanks for watching, and as always, keep gaming.